and hello everyone welcome back to a new video so let's go select star from uh, what's the table users and what do we actually have to do in application there is a selection for adults only you need to get the list of names and ages of the people from the users tables who are 18 years old or older okay and let's first test and see what the output is so you can see what's everything inside of it because there's name and age that's all okay so select start from users where age is more equal to 18 and we can just attempt that it feels pretty easy and then I can say submit okay yeah, quite satisfied it was easy okay for beginners too <clears throat> you are a border guard sitting on the Canadian border you are given a list of travelers who have arrived at your gate today you have, let's, let's just click on train so long because I'm most likely going to do it you are given a list of travelers who arrived at your gate today you know that American, Mexican and Canadian citizens don't need visas so you can continue can just continue their reps you don't need to check their passports for visas you only need to check their passports of citizens oh what as I'm very tired today as well so that this is kind of hard to understand you need to check their passports for visas you only need to check their passports of citizens of other countries okay select the names and countries of origin of all the travelers excluding anyone from Canada, Mexico or the US so first let's select star for uh, select, select uh, oh gosh, star from travelers. Uh, let's test that. Okay, so there's name and country. So what we have to do is we just have to say select star where there are not. Okay, select star from travelers where not where is a country where not country. Oh gosh, um where country is not equal to should I maybe should go in can I use in? I don't know a country is not equal to uh, Mexico and the uh, hmm. yeah I'm thinking now cause hmm We're not country. Mm, I could actually get that in. I think it's like here we can go like Mexico. I don't know if this makes a difference. Mexico. Uh, where's the rest? So there is Mexico, Canada, and by the US is it United States or just US USA US okay I guess it's in USA uh, uh, let's test that because I'm not sure if that's gonna work yeah no it still goes US oh wait that's Canada uh, USA okay and we did it that's two cutouts easy as pie so let's see okay I can just submit that that is a lot like Delphi code I'm not gonna lie you received an invitation to an amazing party now you need to write an insert statement to add yourself to table of participants okay participants so it's name age and attending since alcohol will be served uh, you can only attend if you're 21 or older you can't attend if the technical Returns anything but true. Okay. okay, so what I think we should do is we should just create an insert and I should make sure I'm older. Uh, okay, so let's go insert into our. I'm just going to copy that. Uh, insert into participants values. Yeah, I don't think we have to specify since 
I don't think there is an ID. So Netsu, uh, yeah, this is Netsu. I don't, I don't think that matters. Uh, let's go. I am 99, and then uh, I'm older than that. And let's go true. And let's test it. Oof. Okay, I think it may matter. Maybe double quotes is my skill value only. Awesome, I'm the oldest guy there though. I shall attempt and I shall pass. Oh Jesus, progress skill value. Okay, I thought it was using my skill value. Anyways, submit. You're working at a local school and you are responsible for collecting tuition from students. You have a list of all students. Some of them have already paid tuition, some haven't. Write a select statement to get the list of all students who haven't paid their tuition. The list should include the data available about all these students. Okay, so I should select star. Okay, so let's go select star from to to then where uh, tuition received uh, b equal false. Um, as you call it, um, right? So let's see to get this between we haven't paid the tuition yet. The relationship a okay, uh, test. Okay, we did it. Let's attempt that and pass. It's like the test I write for IT. I always get 100%. Submit. Basically, they there's a bookstore, and at the end of the month, we want to see the five best-selling books at the store. I should use a statement, uh, a SQL statement, to find the author, the number of books sold, and the names of the books. And it should be the top five. And here is the schema, and I did already get the output. So it is very basic, not too much to go around. Okay, so basically, what I think we should do is so we should get best selling. So it's probably most copy sold, right? Uh, that's going to be actually kind of hard. So let's go uh, select name. Offer and uh, but do I really need to do that? Because that's the only things in it. So I'm just gonna store anyways. Um, from books or their buy copies sold and then uh, limit. If we can see if it goes from top to bottom or from bottom to top. Oh, so I, get, I did it. Did I? Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I didn't think it would be right because, you know, it seems to be increasing, not decreasing. Soon I'd then go descending instead. It says I passed, but I don't think I did. You know, while I limited it and the stuff, I don't think it's... See, that's where we go. So then we just attempt. Okay, and we passed. That was pretty easy. And we're back to number six. Okay, so let's see. Your friends told you that if you keep coding on your computer, you're going to hurt your eyes. Very true, that's why I am blind. <laughs> but not really, but you know. Well, yes, but actually, no. It's a, yeah, it's very confusing. They suggest that you go with them to Trivia Night at the local club. Once you arrive at the club, you realize the true motive behind your friend's invitation. They know that you are a computer nerd and they want to query the country's table and get the answers. Oh my gosh. Well, I like these friends of mine. Schema of the, the schema of country's table. Okay, so we can train. Okay, so once you are. Okay. Uh, first question. 
from the African countries that start with the character E. Get the names of their capitals ordered alphabetically. Select star from countries. Okay, let's test that. Like I said, oh, it's actually filter with only African ones and uh, and they should start with the character E. If you get more than three, we get for being too smart. <laughs> Also, the database is crowdsourced, so sometimes Africa is written Africa, and other times Africa. Okay, so select, and we want capital. Select capital from countries where. Country in Africa, Africa. Okay, where countries in Africa? Uh, uh, countries in Africa uh, and. I will make sure that they start from Evo. Like I'm gonna do limit, like limit free, free, and uh, country. Like I don't know if I'm doing it the right way, but uh, and we should add where again. And where country, where country is like uh, e percentage. Let's taste that because I don't know if that's gonna work. Eh. Yeah, they didn't like the where. Maybe we remove the where this time. Let's just try that. Test again. Wait, what? Uh, okay, so let's break it up a little bit. <coughs> so let's go where and put that on a one. And we can go and there. Oh, you know. Oh, you know what? I selected the wrong one. I'm supposed to get capital, ain't I? <coughs> okay, so let's go test again. Hmm. I might want to take a look at my guide, my very, very, very helpful guide. So maybe I should do like first. So we're capital like percentage E, we can delete that, and country in that, uh, let's loop, okay let's try again, so okay let's first do this, see where we go, okay that, like okay, so the error is definitely real, Select capital. Yeah, but they're the same from countries where the capital like E of a percentage. Something is wrong, so like let's try country again. I could have made a spelling mistake, but I wouldn't have known it. The 
that's very strange. I don't understand what keeps getting an error. Am I using my like incorrectly? Select star from TPL employees for birthday, like, and then in single quotes, and then you use that, and then it's... I don't quite understand why it's not working. Am I selecting... Oh, I should select continent. Oh, okay, very dumb of me. Very, very, very dumb of me. Let's test that again. Really, really, it's because I had one too many. Okay, so now it's Africa and Africa. We're like Africa and and a limit, uh, limit free. And um, country. Make sure I. We don't want capital, don't we? Capitals. Uh, we're having in countries and start with the character E. Okay, countries, not, con not capital. Okay. But it should be ordered by the capital. The country. Okay, so. Uh, order by. Uh, capital. Uh, okay. Okay, uh, I forgot to add a country like E, e percentage test. Okay, okay, nice. Hey, that's in Africa, I didn't know that. So let's attempt. I failed to. Oh, that would make sense. That wasn't my side. Whoopsie, I don't read correctly. Let's attempt again. We passed all nine. Yay. I almost for that said Alabama. Submit. This is the hot, most difficult one by far. It took me so long. Damn, dude. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's just like, uh. It was fun. Okay, yeah, so maybe we meet again. Goodbye. See you all in the next video.